Throughout the centuries, there have been many bizarre stories of men and women who were subjected to botched executions. Some of the most high-profile people of the Tudor era, for example, Thomas Cromwell, suffered a number of strikes of the axe. In Scotland, there was a young Scottish lady named Maggie Dixon, who became known as half Hangit Maggie, as she woke up following her execution. But at one of the most infamous execution sites in England, there was a triangular gallows, but at Tyburn in the 18th century, the man who was being hanged managed to survive his ordeal, and he was someone who actually woke up following this. Join us today as we look at the botched execution of William Jewell, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. William Jewell was born in 1723, and when he was 17, he was charged with a barbaric crime. He lived inside of London, and he was tried for the murder and assault of a woman named Sarah Griffin. In September 1740, she had been suffering severe bronchitis and she left London to return home to rural Worcestershire for some fresh air. She went via West London and was going to walk to the Midlands, but then she encountered William Jewell. He offered to give Sarah a place to stay for the night in a barn in Acton. However, he then went to a pub and boasted about having a woman in his barn, but then a group of five men attacked her. It was barbaric what she was subjected to, she was also robbed, but William was convicted of being an accessory to the crime. But the next day, Sarah died from a stroke and her body was left battered and bruised, and at the trial at the Old Bailey, William Jewell was sentenced to death for his crimes. But for his actions, Sarah Griffin would have lived. But he was said to have been a boy of little education and what he did possess he had forgotten. He was held inside of the rough Newgate prison to await his execution, which came on the 24th of November 1740. He was taken to Tyburn to be executed on the Triangular Gallows, known as the Tyburn Tree, for what he had done. Thousands of people had been executed on this spot before, and many people would gather to witness executions inside of central London. But the crowds this day were very large, and there was said to have been a northerly gale of wind, along with rain, snow and hail. Jewel was to be executed alongside four others, and he was taken by the executioner and was forced to stand on a step or a box. The executioner then wrapped the noose around his neck and his death sentence was read and the crowd were informed of his crimes. But following this, the stool was kicked out and William was left hanging. He was suspended from the rope for 50 minutes. However, when he was cut down and assumed dead, his body was then quickly taken to Surgeon's Hall nearby for dissection and to be used by medical students. However, as the body of William Jewell was taken in through an under door. He was then carried up a spiral staircase and was left inside of a passage. His body was looked at by a washerwoman who was there to prepare the corpse for the next dissection, which would occur inside the anatomy theatre. But when she looked at William's corpse, she noticed low groans for 10 minutes. And then, when he was ready for dissection, another servant noticed the corpse was now actually breathing. His breath got quicker and quicker and the anatomist then bled him, and this revived him. He could not answer questions as to what had happened, and two hours after he was executed, he was sitting up. On the following morning, the surgeons and the Sheriff of London questioned William Jewell as to what he remembered, and he claimed he didn't remember what had happened. The last thing he could recall was the last rites being given to him, but he was then taken back to Newgate Prison and was fed. He had little to no side effects of his execution, However, there was an issue. He had been executed and was classed as socially and legally dead, but he was not classed as medically dead, and someone with this status did not exist in the world of the 18th century. Because of this, there was a hearing at the Old Bailey as to what to do with him, and there was a chance to possibly hang him again. If there was an issue with the rope, then the executioner could have used a different one that day, but many believed he had been spared by God, and his case puzzled doctors for a long time. He was then sent on transportation to North America, and he lived his life in Boston dying in his 80s. But William Joel was a man who was hanged at Tyburn but lived. However, he was someone whose actions led to the slaughter and assault of a woman. He was 17 when he was executed at Tyburn, but he had a lucky escape and was about to be dissected by anatomists. It's not known how he escaped death, but the story of his botched execution has saved lives today. It was said that, the body's own biological defences against trauma reduced the temperature of the body. And this preserved energy and may have helped to keep William's vital organs, such as his heart, beating. 
that he was hanged in the winter cold, this may have also contributed to his survival. But the botched execution of William Joel is one of the strangest in history. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.